G'day Tubers. I've received two active balances from Helltech BMS for purpose of review. A 3 to 4S designed for LiPo and LiPo 4 and a 12 to 16S. This one being able to do LiPo, LiPo 4 and the ability to switch to a LTO via a jumper on the board. I'm kind of surprised they reached out to me given my very public dislike for active balances so credit to them. I'll be testing a few of my concerns, that is low voltage cutoff, their ability to do five amp balance current, and why you'd use one, and why I wouldn't. Two balances arrived very well packed and looked much better than earlier units I've tested years ago. PCBs look clean and well laid out. The connectors and cables also looked really good, sized well to suit the application. Instructions were harder to find. First looked on the website without success, assuming they would be under support, after taking another look at the supplied box, there was a small QR code with a manual scan here under it. Before finding the manual, I installed the 3 to 4S unit on this jig with a 3S battery, with two good cells and one really bad one, bench power supply, and an iCharger X8 just to monitor the voltages. I got it all installed and operational the first time. I set the test jig up and left it run overnight, thinking that I'd come back to a balanced battery. This wasn't the case. Turns out that very bad battery was actually very, very bad and self-discharged overnight. The active balance has stopped balancing as it was designed. I was very happy to see this as it could lead to three dead flat batteries, not just one. I guess this part relates to the 2.7 volts to 4.5 volts on the box. Or does it? As the instructions states, 3 to 4.2 volts. So I'm not sure which is correct at this point. Either way, it worked. After messing around a little bit more, I couldn't get much usable data from the small scale test. I needed to go big. I needed to put that 12 to 16S unit on my 25 kilowatt hour battery. Fitting the balancer to my big battery was simple. I made up a loom and affixed the unit to the inside wall of the enclosure with four tall standoffs, allowing plenty of air flow and physical distance between the metal of the enclosure and the electronics on the back side of the device. I made up the wiring loom and installed it with some nylon braided sleeve Ring terminals were fitted to the ends of the wires and attached to the cells accordingly. I also installed a power switch in parallel to the Batrium Watchmon 5's expansion board and configured the software accordingly. The BMS was configured to only allow the active balance to work above and below a certain point. Just quickly, I changed the relay output 1 functions to CMU alert high low voltage plus delta and under Cellmon changed low cell voltage to 2.5 volt and high cell voltage to 3.75 volts. Finally, under bypass extra mode and then more, I changed the cell voltage comparison to 0.01 volts. The next week went a little bit south with my testing. Unable to get any reply from Helltech BMS on what I saw next, I reached out to members on the DIY Powerwalls community forum and Facebook group to ask whether anybody else had seen these sorts of issues. At this point, I'll skip ahead a week's worth of testing and get straight to where I am today. At this point, I'm gonna throw away my script. I've got a huge amount written that I wanted to cover with this device, but I think it's now going to be two videos. Uh, just because I can't charge the battery because it's been raining for a long time and it looks like it's gonna rain for another week and I have no other way of charging this battery up than a single solar cell. So what am I seeing? So it's all installed and functioning as it should. I am getting balanced current. And what I did was, I left it all run for about 12 hours. With The needle didn't move, it didn't balance the battery very much at all, and you wouldn't expect so at something like 5 millivolts. So after that I thought, well, I've got to try and see that 5 amp balancing current on this setup. I could absolutely, <laughs> that's a mess, but I could see it on that setup. I just can't see it on this one. So what I did was I got the iCharger X8 and then I put it down onto one cell. I charged that cell up to about 4.1 volts, maybe a little bit higher, uh, while the rest were sitting at about 3.65 uh, volts or something. And that's where we're at at the moment. Now this is a week, 10 to 12 days since I started trying to test this battery. Um, I put quite a bit of effort into trying to do my due diligence. I've installed it properly. Um, I've tried to take away my biases on what I think about this product and just look at the results. And the results are this. 
when I had that cell there at four point, what was it? Uh, 4.1 volts, we'll say. I put the clamp meter here and then the clamp meter here. And the absolute maximum I ever saw that balancing at was one and a half amps. I couldn't get it any higher. So technically speaking, it was working and it was balancing. Trying all these other little back balance leads here. I could only get to, I couldn't get to all of them. I got to some of them. Um, and I was seeing quarter of an amp, half an amp, whatever. So it was doing something, it was working, right? And then I went, oh, well, you know, maybe, maybe I've done something wrong. So one thing in my mind, and this is where I reached out to the community, some are saying that all these cables need to be the same length so they can't be it's almost like you've got to have the battery the balancer here and then the wires all the same length up as short as possible um, some have said they've had great success with that and they love it i haven't seen those results yet because i haven't done that test uh, what i did do was go out and buy and this will be the next test and that's 10 amp four millimeter apparently so I've got a couple of rolls of that. So I'm going to remake the loom again. So I let that sit after that all happened. And I'm going, oh, that's not really working well. And I got disheartened because I really, I really did put some effort into making this loom look professionally installed. So I didn't want to rip it all out again. So I asked the community, does anybody have any of these spare cables? They didn't. So I couldn't progress to that next step seamlessly, I guess you'd say. So that brings me to today. Uh, about 14 days after this all started. Now, I've reached out to Helltech BMS. Uh, Zio was the name of the gentleman I was talking to. I sent him an email with all my concerns, and he didn't answer any questions. He just replied with more questions. He didn't, he just said, you, and one of the things he said after like 10 or 12 days was, just let it sit and it will do its job. Well, that brings me to this frustrating part of the video where I was trying to be as professional as I could. If you take a look at the battery management system, there's something very odd going on. So we've got 3.7 volts. Now it has been charging. It, it, is, it is charging ever so slowly at 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, that just shows how much the solar is only one solar panel. So it maxes out at like two amps or something. So we've got 3.7 volt minimum and 3.97 maximum. So that cell eight is maximum, but cell nine is minimum. Now I'll put a screenshot here when I started and it was all nice and level before I charged this cell. This, they were all level, but now look at them. So we've got cell one is 3.78, 3.79, 3.76, 3.82, 3 3.78, uh, 3.79, 3.71, that's 3.97, that was charged, 3.7, 3.77. So these two cells in voltage, this one's gone up a little bit. <sighs> to my mind, that says something is broken to me something in the balancer isn't working now this is where i have to be really really honest and say i honestly think it's got something to do with the cables now this is three millimeter cable and the packaging said it's good for 10 amps um, now i just crimped those connectors you can see the little red crimp there so maybe i needed to crimp and solder um, and then they're also soldered up here somewhere. They're soldered and shrink, and I can't even open it. But the joins from these cables here are up in here and they're soldered together. They're twisted, soldered together, and then shrink wrap over the top. And there's nylon braid over the top of that. So maybe something in there isn't as perfect as it should be. So I'm gonna give this BMS a second chance in the next video. Tell me what you think below. Have I done a good enough job of trying to test it? I feel I absolutely have. I do have about five days of screen capture from that. So you could watch it if you wanted to. I just thought it was too boring to include. But anyway, tubers, I appreciate you tuning in. 
I know a lot of you understand my my abs. I don't like these active balances, but I've tried to give this a good hard crack, and I'll continue to do so. At this point, it does the job. Um, it certainly does what it says it on the box on the smaller setup. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Um, I just can't get it on this one. So if you've got any tips, tricks, or hints for me to actually do that better, or what you want me to include in the next video, please let me know. And then we'll see you on the next one.